All right, guys. Uh, today I've got a new video for you on my Droid Razor HD. Um, right now I'm running Elemental X. In case you're curious of what this is, right here um, on this device, which is pretty cool. It's got some good stuff on it. Um, so this is what I'm running right now. I'm going to show you guys how to install Eclipse on this because Nitroglycerin, a freaking awesome, awesome developer, decided to go back. He's the creator of Elemental X. Decided to go back and kind of rebirth his la last uh, baby which is called uh, Eclipse and he made it for the Razer HD uh, so that being said I'm gonna go into some prerequisites on this and show you guys how to install it and we're gonna check out that ROM so first thing first um, the prerequisites are gonna be you need to have uh, the Razer HD with root permission with like something like super sue or super user and I have that um, you're also going to want to have a unlocked bootloader um, so that is going to be one of the prerequisites for this, obviously. Um, uh, right now I'm just going to show you guys so you can see what I'm running. I am on Android version 4.2.2 because that is what this ROM is built on. This device on stock would be on 4.1.2. Uh, so you have an unlocked bootloader. You have root access and you have a custom recovery installed, whether that's clockwork mod recovery or torp recovery. I do not care. It does not matter to me. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do reboot and reboot to recovery. So I have torp recovery installed um, and that's what it should. The phone will boot back into for me. Uh, also, make sure you have the Eclipse file on your SD card and you know where it is at before you start this process. So we're going to boot up here, Torp Recovery, Team Win Recovery Project is what we have right here, Team Win. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a backup of my ROM right now, which is Elemental X. So we're going to back up everything just because, why not? And we're going to set name to Elemental dash X and I'm gonna put the date as today's date which is 5.13.13 and hit go and there's my nickname up there so we're gonna go ahead and swipe it so I'm gonna go ahead and let this backup run probably take about five minutes and then we'll go into the install of Eclipse ROM on the Droid Razor HD Okay, my backup has completed. So it actually has a screen saver in, on Twerp, at least this new version. It, it shuts the screen off. So you actually have to un push the power button to get the screen come back on and then actually unlock it, which is kind of cool. Um, it's built in. So I don't want to hit reboot system because I just made the backup. So we're going to go ahead and go back out of this. And we're going to go to wipes. And in Twerp 2.5, you don't have to pick all those different things to wipe. You just swipe across and wipe it. It wipes everything that's necessary to flash a ROM. So really sweet, really nice that it just does it all really quick. So we're gonna go back, go back again down here, and go to install. And we have to find, which is on the standard SD card, internal. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Hang on. SD card down here. There it is and should be under downloads there it is and da, 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 right here eclipse razor hd version 1.0 and that is from 5.13.13 this just got released it's brand new um, now you don't have to flash the google applications with this file everything is included in it and the best way to know that is to know the file size if a file size is around 300 megabytes, it almost always includes, if a ROM is around 300 megabytes, it almost always includes the Google applications. If it's around 150 or so, that's just the ROM, and you'll probably have to get the Google applications, which are normally around another 100 megabytes. It's a good way to kind of reference in case it's not mentioned in the forum. Again, as always, guys, all links for this stuff is going to be in the video description down below. So go ahead and flash this, and we'll let this thing flash. And we'll go from there. Um, this is really good ROM. Should be really awesome. Like I said, Eclipse is just a sweet, sweet, uh, sweet ROM by Nitroglycerin. So let this thing flash. We'll reboot and we'll check it out. 
Alright guys, so uh, it's wrapping up here. Um, just so you know, don't be alarmed if the screen goes off. Because like I said, Torp Recovery has a screen saver. You just hit your power button really quick, it'll come back on. So everything's done. We're going to go ahead and hit Reboot System. And we're going to check out the boot animation on this device. Like you guys know, if you've watched any of my videos, I just like seeing what it is. See if it's cool, what, what they did with it. If it's stock, whatever. Um, so that's your logo right there. And your boot animation should be... Come on. Okay, so that is his, his standard Eclipse boot animation for his Eclipse ROMs when he was back in the day doing Eclipse ROMs. And like I said, he's moved on to Elemental X now. But he came and brought this one back for the Razer HD. Let's let this thing boot up. I'm going to go through setup and show you guys the ROM. Here we go. I have just booted this up. This is Eclipse ROM on the Razer HD. And let's just kind of skip through some of this stuff. Don't need any of that on there right now. Um, looks like this does come pre-installed with Nova Launcher right there. Um, let's check through some of the stuff we have on here. So we'll go to settings. And oh, we do have some battery mods right here. So let's go ahead and actually change that really quick. Because I do like some of these other ones. I actually like this one right here. So let's do that. That's pretty cool. I like some of those battery mods. Um, launcher settings obviously right here for Nova Launcher built into your settings drawer. Um, and your battery thing which you just saw me mess with some stuff there um, looks like this is pretty basic he normally has a couple more settings in here but uh, pretty basic it is a very smooth ROM though as you guys can see there are no toggles or anything this is the initial release of this so it's gonna have um, not all his tweaks in it yet but uh, so far pretty slick looking let's go ahead and see what else we got here we do have DSP manager um, in here AppWise does come with terminal super user obviously because it has root permission and and you do have quick office right there which is nice um, that he actually included that in here um, along with all of your widgets and you guys can see that this is uh, really really smooth um, which is very very nice and great animations here uh, that's the classic uh, Eclipse wallpaper in the background right there and yeah so there you go, that is pretty much the uh, si situation with it. It does have, like I said, the battery bot mods and some launcher settings you can go ahead and play with. Let's see what it says for Eclipse. That's interesting. Leave that checked too. Um, it does have all these buttons down here permanently, which is interesting, um, which is a little unusual in my opinion. But uh, that's the way he's got it set up right now. Like I said, this is the first re release of it, so I'm sure he'll add more tweaks to it as he um, compiles it. But uh, so far so good. Let's go ahead and really quick though, let's look at um, about phone. And let's just see what we're running here. So it is for uh, Jelly Bean 4.1.2. Um, but it does look like it probably has a custom kernel in it, I'm thinking. Yeah, it looks like it does. So your kernel is going to be new, which is nice. Um, yep, so there we go. That's that information. Probably make it run a little bit smoother, I'm sure. There you go guys, that is Eclipse um, by Nitroglycerin on the Droid Razor HD. I uh, hope you guys like this little uh, video how-to, um, install a ROM obviously, and a little bit of the ROM review on it. Um, as always, please follow me right here at RootJunkie.com. Lots of great information on there, updating constantly. You can check me out on Facebook or Twitter, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.